I rise today as an educator. I've taught in the class for more than 30 years, and I too have seen where there was much emphasis on this history, and over the years, little by little, less and less is taught. Uh, when I was here in 2012 and 2013, I was proud to bring up the wife of Leon Layson, and Leon Layson was the youngest member on Schindler's List who lives in my city of Fullerton. He wrote a book that we were able to give to the members at that time, Boy on the Wooden Box. And Boy on the Wooden Box is the story of Leon Layson and his family, his brothers and his sister and his mother, all who passed other than him and his parents. And as he came here to America after living that horror, he came and settled in Huntington Park where he then became a metal shop teacher. And there are many stories of horror, and with Leon you would never have known what happened because he didn't speak about it. He didn't speak about it until Schindler's List came out, until the movie came out. I had already known him 20 years, and to hear his story, somebody who had dinner at his home, to see a man that went through so much and that came back and just loved those students in Los Angeles. But he met his wife out there, and one of the stories that I love so much because she came to my classroom to talk to over 100 students in Fullerton just two years ago, was that when she met him as a young teacher herself, she went into his metal shop and he was showing the students how to do various metal shop. And later on, he made her a trowel and even my students didn't know what a trowel was, but she brought that trowel to the class and said that was a gift he gave her and that the kids almost cried. And this was just two years ago. So we continue your legacy, what you went through by telling the stories and keeping those memories alive. So keep telling your stories and thank you survivors.